quickly go about his, um, uh, his lost bag of shoes. Here is Neil Diamond with uh, Lucy Arnaz. Well, Lucy and Neil, you must be very happy this morning because in The Hollywood Reporter, which is a fairly tough journal, has just said that the jazz singer is a sensation of this year's Cannes Film Festival. <laughs> That's right. happy, yes. Yeah. I'm happy, are you happy? I'm happy. That's great. <laughs> well, you know, a project that uh, took three years, really, and you only finished ten days ago, it must be very nice to have that reaction from people. Yes, well, it's, we knew it was good all along. It's yeah. just nice that somebody else acknowledges it. Yeah, yeah, super. Well, I saw you, oh, it must have been two years ago, in a play called Vanities yes. in Los Angeles. And it, it, you've got an amazing stage personality. I mean, it was a super play and you were great in it. Thank you. And then you had that great hit in um, They're Playing Our Song. <laughs> the temptation for you to go into movies uh, some years ago would have probably been rather strong. Did you feel it by being in the theatre you're really establishing Lucy Arnaz as an identity and a personality in her own right? It's, it's the only way that I could really to do it by myself because you have to audition for everything in the theatre. You, mm. you don't get anything through favours or by being a, a name on a television show or something. And I just instinctively chose that route so that people wouldn't say you're doing what you're doing because your mother is a famous person or your father is a famous person. And so it was the good way for me to go because it's my own little section of show business, yeah. theater. But it's a temptation of movies, you know, it's not, it's not that it's a temptation, it's very hard to get into films and you have to establish yourself in some other area, I would think, first before you can star in a major motion picture. Yeah, well you had, you had all the television experience, I'm, I'm sure you probably got off a television series then, you know. I was on my mother's show yeah, for that's six right. years. Mm. And I was just really like going to school, oh really, it was most of what I learned about how to do what I do was from that show. Yeah. Do you like the discipline of the theatre? That, that sure. thing of relentless really, night after night? Yes, mm. I do though, I like to work hard. Yeah. In short spurts, <laughs> two hours at a time. And you did a lot of national tours as well. I did one, mm. that's a lot. Yeah. If you go on a long one, that's a lot. Six yeah. months on a national tour, yeah, yeah. Seesaw. Do you know a lot about me? Of course, I'm, I'm wonderful. a wonder boy. I do a lot of research. I don't even know that much about you. <laughs> you know, I know this much. Uh, there's a lot of great songs in, in, in the jazz singer. Oh. And uh, <laughs> and a well-known uh, song. And he wrote some of them. Yeah, I was going to say. It's, um, I find this rather difficult, Neil, because I'm, I'm supposed to avoid you and not to ask you any questions, but I, I find it very difficult. I've got to bring you into the conversation. Well, she's yeah. better looking than that. You <laughs> <laughs> to do with me. Yeah, well, th this is a lovely story, the jazz singer. It's an old story, um, but with a new concept. Mm. Could you tell us a bit about that? You want to do that? I might as well. I haven't story. answered anything yet. Uh, yeah, well, it's it's an updated uh, kind of an updating of of the the classic story of the jazz singer, the battle of the generations, and uh, the father who is tied to the past, and in this case, very strong religious ties, and and the son who wants to you know enter the new world in his own way, and. Uh, from that premise, the battle and the adventure and the journey ensues. Uh, it's all new music, uh, a lot of fun to do, wonderful actors and actresses in it, and uh, uh, very special and, and very timely, I think. This picture is, is a, a picture about family life, it's rather sentimental and uh, it's a different sort of film. Was this the sort of picture you wanted to come into movies with? And you too, Lucy, because it's your, your first film as well. I mean, it, oh, well, I mean, I, I mean you waited I, I, for the right yeah, Absolutely. Mm. I, I waited so long that I wasn't going to just grab anything after that. This was a wonderful part. Mm. I mean, it was worth every penny I paid them. <laughs> <laughs> really, I would do this all again tomorrow, even if the price went up. <laughs> Yeah, because it's, uh, you know, as I, as I said before, I'm sure you've had your offers, and uh, what, what appealed to you about the jazz singer? Oh, there are a lot of things that appeal to me. First, uh, the chance to, uh, to write new music, you know, from scratch without any uh, uh, kind of controls from our producers and production companies. Um, that's exciting. And uh, 
I, th I thought the story had some substance to it. It wasn't a typical movie that was cops and robbers or cowboys and Indians and that kind of thing. It was something very warm and and I think also the fact that Jolson did it was part of the reason that uh, I became so intrigued by it because he was a uh, a stage performer, a, a popular singer of his time and. I suppose he was one of the tops, certainly in this country, <clears throat> and one of my favorites when I was a little boy. And uh, all those kind of things added up to saying, yes, let's see if I can do this thing. It was my first film, it's Neil's first film, and you do a film like this with these people, and work with people like Laurence Olivier, and, yeah. and have the kind of first class, it's first class all the way, and I'm gonna be very spoiled next time if it isn't like that, you know? Yeah, are you looking forward for your mom and dad to see it? Uh, yeah, my mother's seen a few little short yeah. clips at the rap party, she came to the last day and saw some footage of it, and. And my father is dying to see this, but they've stayed far away, you know, they just yeah. want to wait till the show. But it must be nice to know that you're in a, what, it's going to be a hit. And, uh, yeah, for their sake too, it's, yeah. it's, it's super. Well, you were Miss Showbiz, right? But Neil, you didn't have any plans to really go into, into entertainment because you were pre-med student and your family didn't have any, have any show business connections. Um, do you think it sort of parallels the story of the jazz singer? Yeah. Well, it was an unusual thing for someone in my family to do, but I didn't really give it too much thought. It was just something that I started doing, and uh, I never really stopped. I started okay. writing when I was about 16, and here we are today in Cannes, underneath the <laughs> blue sunny sky. sky and <laughs> <laughs> It's just beautiful out here. Yeah, this yeah. is your first trip to the Cannes Food Festival. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been here before. Ah, I've come well prepared. You know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what, what's the future now? Are you going to do another stage show or another movie? My plans are uh, taking me up through the first of the year anyway. I have a television film coming out in the fall for CBS and a stage play to do in Los Angeles and San Francisco. Whose life is it anyway? Tom Conti originated it Wonderful. in London, and I'm going to play the female version of that. They translated yes. it into a female one. I'm going to be doing that in Los Angeles and San Francisco up until the first of the year. And learning how to lie very still. Learning how to work with just my head. Yeah, that's yes. right. It's a tough role. Yes, it is, yeah. and a, and a good one. Yeah. She's going to be great in it, too. Oh, yeah. That's, well, I, as I said, when, when, when Vanities, I love that place so much. In fact, I went twice to see it. <laughs> and uh, I almost did. I almost hung around the stage door and asked for an autograph because I really loved it. It's it fun, though, for me because that's so totally different from this. I like to keep changing, yeah. you know? Now, is that the thing? Is the challenge the thing? You know, sure. something different all the time? Yeah, you can go back and repeat yourself, but it's nice to grow and to stretch and try new things. Sure. Yeah. He does that with his music, I'm sure. For sure. Are we going to see you in Australia soon, Neil, for another tour, another sensational so. tour? I hope so. I've been wanting to come back for a couple of years, and each year something comes up. You know, this year it's the film. But I'm hoping that the next concert season in Australia, that, uh, that we can get down there and and do our thing. Although I doubt if any tour that I do could ever match up to that first one. You know, it's, it's <laughs> totally spoiled by it. It was... We talked about fantastic. that through the whole movie. I used to pick his brain about touring and writing songs. And all I kept talking about was Australia and how terrific that was. Yeah. Well, it was a magic really? time for the whole country. Fantastic. It really was. For me, too. It was unbelievable. I hope we, we see you both very soon in uh, yet another movie after this one and perhaps live with a great tour. Thanks. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. The uh, corset is uh, Lucy Arnaz, whose parents, uh, uh, Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz, were uh, television and film history and everything else in them. So he was a bit reluctant to talk. Now, the deal was you're only allowed to interview her and he was He's so shy. They said to me, you talk to Lucy, and if he wants to talk, 
then he'll come into it. But when it's very difficult when you're talking to one person, studiously avoiding the other, and finally that's why I said, look, this is on. crazy. Uh, exactly. But he was wonderful, as you saw. You yeah. know, he was totally relaxed and great and a very nice man. And what you see is what you get because he's exactly like that all. And I mean, he, I met a lot of superstars, but this man is so modest and yes. unassuming. It's amazing. So she's a doll. She's a doll. Doll. Just one brief thing. Now, tomorrow night, the uh, Queen is at the Opera House in Sydney, Bert Newton is comparing the big uh, Royal Variety concert. And what is our John Michael doing? I'll be backstage talking to the stars.